Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. And in this video tutorial, we will learn how we can now go ahead and create the components for our product related functionality. So we have already created a product service class which basically contains all the CRUD functionality related methods like update, delete, add and view a list of products. Now we have to use these methods inside a component. So inside the products component that we created. Here the way we will work on our views or our components is we will create a view for each component. So instead of instead of just adding all these product views inside this product component what I'm going to do I'm going to create a component for each view like a component for product details a component for product list a component for product update so let's go ahead and first get rid of this component because I don't need it I'm going to create an individual component for each of my product related views so I'm going to remove this and I'm going to remove this from the project now I'm just going to delete this completely I don't need this so let's also get rid of these and I don't need these as well so I'm just going to remove so I just have a products folder now which is completely empty now let's go ahead and open our terminal so go to your client app, right click and then on the tools you'll have your terminal, open your terminal. Let's close this, don't need this additional terminal. And here now let's go ahead and write the code to generate ng generate component ng gc inside the products folder, inside the products folder I need to generate a component called as the product details details I hit enter so now the product details component is created inside the products folder now I need two more components so let's create them now itself so I need one more component inside the product it will be the product list so when I get the list of the products from the database I need to display that list so I'll display that list inside this component view and I'm going to call it product list so let's create that so the product list component also has been created and I need one more component that is going to be the product update so we will have a model pop-up which will give us a form inside that where we can edit the product details so let's call that component as product update and let's add it to this product folder so now we have all the required components that we need to work on so we can close our terminal and now let's go ahead and open our product details component let's close these additional uh, classes that we have open So open this component, or oh, not the navigation menu, sorry, the, the product component, details component .ts file. And here we can write the code required for our product details component. Since we started with coding our get products method inside product service, so let's, which is going to display a list. So let me first start working on this component let's close the detail component and here now I have my product list component so actually we don't even need the product update component so I'm just going to remove this first of all because when we want to update the products inside the product list component itself there will be a button next to each product where when clicked the model pop-up appears and the product can be updated inside the model so we don't need an individual view for the product update component instead we are going to use a model pop-up to update our products so we'll just have an individual view for a single product detail page and for the list of products and inside the list of product itself we'll have the buttons to add to update and delete the product so here inside 
uh, your products uh, folder you can go ahead and delete the products uh, update component we don't need that now inside the product list component.html here i will update the code with my custom code which contains the bootstrap code so let's do that so here is the code that will display a table that will contain all the lists of products and as of now this is just a basic bootstrap code and uh, bootstrap 4 code and it does not contain any angular attributes to show the data inside the table columns and this would be added when we start working on the product list component.ts file as of now this video tutorial we will just be designing the interface for our product related components user interface so now the next thing that we need to also create is the modal pop-up for adding a product and also for updating a product so we don't have any component views for adding a new product and updating a product because we are going to use a modal pop-up when a button is clicked the add button is clicked the model appears and the user can add the details of the new product that he wants to add in the database similarly he can edit the details of the product that he wants to edit in that model pop-up as well so let's go ahead and add the model pop-up for the model pop-up in our application we are using ngx bootstrap so this is a bootstrap regular bootstrap but for the model pop-up we'll be using ngx bootstrap we have already installed the required module for that all we have to do is now add the code so let's go ahead and add the code for our model pop-ups so i have added the code for the two model pop-ups one is called the ng template with an id of template and it's for the add product model pop-up and we have another uh, model pop-up which is the edit product model pop-up and this has an id of edit template so if we look at the code, I have used the ngx bootstrap code here to load the pop-up and display the input tags, the checkboxes and so on. You can go through this code because uh, if I had to explain you this HTML code, then it's going to take a while and this course is it's not inside the scope of this course to teach you guys bootstrap because these things are clearly and very easily available under on the official ngx bootstrap website even for bootstrap 4 you can find it under getsbootstrap.com and you can learn different ways of creating your ui with models and regular forms or tables so this is the code this is the design that i'm going to use inside the product list component and as of now if i had to run this project i wouldn't be able to see this inside my browser that's because i have not yet created a path on my navigation link for the products so let's go ahead and run this application and see that if we can still access the products link so the application is running and we have to wait for the to load okay so we are getting an error here let's inspect this and see if we can see something inside the inspect tab so i'm refreshing this so the server error is gone because my server is up and running so it's not the server error i don't see any errors here also in my network tab let me check so okay all i'm getting is that 404 not found hmm. So something is not found in my applications, a module or something, but I don't know yet. So how do I debug this? Inside Visual Studio Code, I can stop this here and I can go to my application output. And when I run this application, I can see the application output here. This is the one. So go back here. The application output and here if I scroll it's going to give me some here it says failed that's fine 
Now, I still can't tell what exactly is going on here and it's a very good thing that it happens even you guys can see how you can debug the issue if you have a problem with an angular app in ASP.NET Core so pretty much you can see here that it cannot find the uh, module it's saying the error is here itself it says in the application output that the it cannot find the update product module or the component so because we deleted the component but we forgot to remove it from app module.ts because when we created the component it registers the component in app module.ts since we deleted it we did not delete it from the app module.ts for some people this is very easy way to debug it but let's say you don't want to debug it like this that's fine you can close your application now what i want you to do is go to your client app and then go to tools and open your client app in terminal so your client app is your angular app and here you will run this command which is ng serve o to run your angular application just your angular application so and you have to be inside your client app okay cd into your client app so it's loading so i'm getting the error now if i go back to my terminal now here it's a bit more clear so everything was going fine everything was rendered but when it reached to the component part that's the error i'm getting and it failed to compile so this is another way you can see the output of your application the error and then so you know now what's the error let's close this close 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 and fix this issue so the error comes from app module.ts go here you see that this component here the products component so the products component is no longer active because we deleted the products component and we just have a products folder secondly we also don't have an update component so let's remove that as well let's also get rid of this products component and products uh, update component from ng modules declaration so it doesn't cause any error you don't need this comma here so let's save this now let's go ahead and run this application let's see old one So let's see if our application is loading now without any errors. If not, then again we will debug it using the terminal window. But now the application is loaded. That means it has no errors. I'm logged in because it still has my token and it's still valid. So if I refresh, does it log me out? No, we had fixed this issue. So now here in the products, if I click, it redirects me to the home because we have not yet created the products path inside the routing module so there are two ways to do this we can add the products module routing modules over here all the routes for the products over here like product details product update and so on but since we are working with product related module so so we will create all the routings related to our product component inside the products folder itself so everything every routing module or every routes related to our app we put it inside the app routing module similarly anything that is related to a product product details product update and so on we will put it inside the products folder in the next video tutorial how we can create this individual product routing modules or component modules i will show you in the next video tutorial so for this video tutorial let's just end this video tutorial here for now go ahead and create the design for your product uh, list component and once it has been completed in the next video tutorial you can go ahead and see how we can create a product routing module for our product components so thank you once again for watching this video tutorials if you have the error where your project is not loading please debug the issue get rid of the product components the import statements and also remove it from your declarations here so that it works once again on your browser so please like and subscribe my channel tech howdy